Whenever an AutoCAD block is inserted, it may contain customized data. This type of block is very useful, for example, when there is a template with legends which includes some data input fields. So, this field has to be customized for each project. Use attributes to help you input data in blocks. An attribute can be added before or after the creation of a block. The tools used for this process are on the Attributes panel. You'll study all possible AutoCAD attribute options in this class. In later classes, you'll insert attributes to an existing block to see how they behave. So it's important to point out that the procedure for inserting attributes in blocks is the same as it is in a normal drawing. There is no need to open the block editor for insertion. The block on an A4 format page is open and then you need to access the block editor. Click the Define Attribute tool on the Attribute tab. Then define the data displayed by the attribute in the dialog box. So now let's see what each one of these options means in this box. In Mode, define the options for attributing values associated to the block. The following options are available. Invisible defines no printing or display for the attribute when the block is inserted. Constant defines a fixed value insertion for the attribute. Verify requests a verification for each insertion in the block to check if the input value for the attribute is correct. Preset uses a default value which was defined when the attribute was created. Lock Position This option is default and defines a locked position for the attribute insertion point, therefore no changes are allowed in position. Multiple Lines Define multiple lines for the attribute text. When there is no value defined for an attribute, the existing options for the attribute define its appearance in the block. Alerts are also specified to define the inserted data type in the field. If the attribute value has not yet been defined, this value will be specified in the default field. In the default field, you can define a field as the default value. Fields are very useful when you wish to display attributes with the document creation date and a file name, and other specific document data or objects contained. The insertion point option defines a fixed point for attribute insertion. The Specify on-screen item is enabled as a default setting. This way, when the dialog box attribute definition is confirmed, it will be inserted at the point of the screen using the mouse cursor. Then in conclusion, take a look at the text display settings options. You can change the settings for alignment or style displayed as annotative or not, height and rotation angle as well. These are the available options for attributes. So in this class, you've learned about the options for properly defining an attribute. 
In the next class, you'll learn about defining and inserting attributes in a block on an A4 page.